The show must go on. Season 4 of Netflix's hit crime drama has released its fourth installment and now fans wonder whether they'll see a fifth season. It's simple. We need another continuation. Season 4 served as the final one, but the money laundering never ends, right? Ozark Season 4 brought a proper ending to the Bird family's lives. After they went through every struggle, from FBI collaborations to Mexican drug cartels, the show gave its characters an interesting conclusion, to say the least. Some say the finale was awful, while others claim it was a proper one. And we strongly believe that the series needs at least one another season in order to make all fans satisfied, give answers to all of our questions, and explore some overlooked storylines. That's a good word. Muchachos! Stars Jason Bateman, Laura Linney, and Julia Garner needed to go through many emotions near the end of the series. The question is, are they interested in the idea of filming yet another season? Will Netflix greenlight another installment? Will the show go on? Did season 4 leave space for more episodes? We think so. Even if it's not a direct continuation of the fourth installment, who says that we can't see a film or a prequel? Perhaps a spin-off? Sadly, for now, the fourth installment serves as the final one, with Netflix confirming this back in 2020. They made sure we'll see an extended final season because there were plenty of storylines that needed to get explored. But the fact that we live in a world where the film industry thrives from sequels, prequels, reboots, threequels, and remakes makes us believe that we will certainly see another Ozark project. Here's the thing, Ozark is one of the best crime series released in the last decade, and if there's another project in the future, the creators will make sure they have a proper story to work on. Game of Thrones came back, Breaking Bad was given a prequel, and these are good films like some really, really good films. But we can't ignore the fact that we're getting sequels to films that are awful, meaning that a show or a film ending doesn't mean that the project is over. And well, let's be honest here, Ozark is one of the best TV series on Netflix, it has the perfect storyline, an even better cast ensemble, and some wild plot twists, so we really need more quality content. But even if the creators decide to make another season, they'll need more than three years to make it. After all, these creators are all about quality, and we really respect them for that. Thankfully, they also explain why we won't see a continuation. When did you know anything about what I do? I never told her about anything that I do, not once. Critically acclaimed, that's how Ozark is referred to in the critics' world. As you already know, we've witnessed a wild journey for Marty, played by the amazingly talented Jason Bateman, and Wendy Bird, played by Laura Linney. Their lives changed once they decided to launder money for a Mexican drug cartel, but that wasn't the biggest twist in their life. As already mentioned, they've been through every possible struggle you could imagine, and thanks to the amazingly written storylines and the incredible performances by the actors, millions of viewers tuned in to follow the show's fourth installment. The fact that season 4 ends on a huge cliffhanger is enough for the creators to at least consider making another season. So why won't there be an Ozark season 5? Let's see what the creators had to say about this. As previously said, Netflix announced back in June 2020 that the show will return once again with a supersized fourth and final season. The fourth installment consisted of 14 episodes and was split into two parts. Back then, showrunner Chris Mundy said, we're so happy Netflix recognized the importance of giving Ozark more time to end the Birds' saga right. Shortly after, the creator told The Daily Beast that it was up to Netflix and only Netflix when to end the series, but said to them to at least give him a notice about their plans so that he can give a proper conclusion to the story. And then Mundy explained that he wanted to do five seasons, but Netflix suggested the idea of doing an extended season instead. So he agreed, and well, the rest is history. Sadly, Netflix didn't listen to him when he said he wants to write more episodes, but the creator said his plan was doing five seasons and nothing more. Prior to the release of the final installment, he told Collider that he thinks there's always been the presumed area of three seasons, four seasons, five seasons, something like that. Bateman wanted to end the series with four or five seasons because of Marty and Wendy's intelligence. As he said, they're playing with danger and it's only a matter of time until they're either going to be killed or put in jail. The alternative is to flatten out that pitch so that you don't end up jumping the shark. He said adding that, but this was when you start stalling just for additional episodes and seasons. So yeah, there you have it. Fire her. Why? It's not the first time she stole from you. It was Netflix's fault that the show wasn't given an additional continuation, which is sad because one thing we're certain of is that the show could have easily continued for at least one more installment. Speaking about the series ending, actress Julia Garner, who plays Ruth Langmore in the show, told Time that she found it really difficult and emotional to say goodbye. You know what they really do? Who they really work for, Aaron? They launder drug money. 
According to her, it was bittersweet, adding that she could actually film the show until she turned 70 years old. She also said that the cast made her experience on the series exceptional, which is why she found it hard to say goodbye in the first place. Now, we know that we won't see Ozark Season 5 in the near future, but we really want you to check out these mind-blowing Ozark theories. So let's talk about that proper improper ending of the series. When it comes to super crazy and reliable theories, we always go to Reddit and we often find something incredible, such as the theory of Reddit user Orchard Furniture, who wrote, oh, just a fair warning, huge spoilers ahead. Given that both Marty and Wendy had that sly smile while Jonah was about to pull the trigger, to me showed that they had come to terms with the people and family they had become. I imagine that the next generation of birds will simply continue the cycle that their parents started. Another Redditor, BBQ Tuck, wrote that having the birds essentially get away with everything while leaving a stream of corpses in their wake is a sadistic way to end the show, but also a pretty unique one. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to fucking kill me! The final scene is an evocative one showing the complete destruction of Jonah's morality and conscience by turning him into a cold-blooded and ruthless killer, who is hell-bent on defending his family at all costs, Redditor Droid Joy said, with a lot of fans saying that we can't be sure about Jonah shooting Mel, some even say that it's possible he just shot the goat with the ashes. What do you guys think of this? While attending a recent FYC event, the stars and writer Chris Mundy talked about the possibilities of a spin-off. They got asked about the show's future and the possibility of the Emmy-winning crime drama getting a spin-off or something like that. You're so arrogant, you think you can flip an FBI agent. Do you, do you know how crazy that sounds? Is it crazier than killing someone? Talking to extras Rachel Lindsay at an FYC event, the actress suggested a sitcom spinoff named Meet the Birds or Bird Watching. All jokes aside, when asked where he thinks the characters will be in about five years from now, Mundy explained that he thinks the show's central family will run the Midwest, and in some ways, they're gonna have the political clout to dictate national politics. Whether we'll see this project in the future, Mundy said there's no plan at the moment for there to be a movie. He also said that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No seriously, Bateman said that if they ever decide to make another Ozark project in the future, it would have to be something that would allow for ghosts because they've got a lot of them and they would want them back. See you in the next video.